storm that we had that forced a lot of people to lose work and wages. They just couldn't get to work because sometimes the roads were so bad or they had to stay home to take care of their kids who couldn't go to school. Well, now the city and the county asking landlords to consider going easy on renters. Okay, Tim Becker live in the newsroom with more on this controversial plan. I know, Tim, you spoke to a landlord about this. I did, and he had several good points. One of them is that the last thing he wants to do is evict any of his good tenants. Another is that landlords shouldn't be the only ones that are asked to help out. Evicting people isn't, it's very unprofitable as it is. Sam Sauter owns several rental properties, both commercial and residential, like this one, not far from the Ross Island Bridge. He tells me when someone here is late with rent, it's not his decision when to send them a late notice. By the rules, the way the city's set up, you're supposed to, when you don't get the rent by day seven, you're supposed to send them a notice that they haven't paid their rent. And the they're the starting of the eviction process. We showed him this open letter to landlords, asking them to possibly waive late fees and work with tenants who may come up short on rent because of wages lost during the extensive business and school closures during January's wicked weather. It's signed by Mayor Ted Wheeler and Multnomah County Chair Deborah Cafori. The city of Portland and Multnomah County have put unprecedented amounts of money into keeping people housed. Um, so we're, we're asking everyone to help as well. We know we can't do it alone. We need landlords to help. To me, in some ways, it's picking the landlord, but for our, for our own tenants, if we have a tenant that has a need, we would certainly help them out. And Sauter is doing just that. He tells me one tenant recently asked for leniency because of weather-related financial loss. And he asked that if he can make two payments this month, at the first of the month and at the middle of the month, and I responded by saying, how about if you just make the whole payment in the middle of the month and we'll waive the late fee? He says it is just good business. And so he wonders why this letter isn't addressed to more than just landlords. I don't have, hear them asking PGE to cut back in their ridiculous PGE bills. Sauter says, you know what, even if somebody was two weeks late on rent, he probably wouldn't begin any sort of eviction proceeding simply because it takes so much time and money. As for that city-county joint effort, they say that if anybody is worried that they might get evicted, to go ahead and call 211 and ask for help. Back to you.